Welcome to Entrepreneurs International Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. Today, Jill Lublin is training us on how to stay visible in uncertain times with free publicity. I've got a few questions for Jill, but first let me find Jill. Jill, say something. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello. I'm going to spotlight you. Jill, first question. What item on your bucket list excites you the most? Mm, there's so many on my bucket list, um, but I think the one coming up that I'm feeling like I'm about to tick off somehow <laughs> once I do some planning is uh, an Antarctica Patagonia tour together. I'd like to do them together. I think I can manage that. I'm not sure, but I think I can um, probably be a cruise, but that that's pretty exciting. And I, and I'm moving it up when I can finally travel probably 2022. Good for you. That is pretty adventurous. Yes. Second. I am an adventure traveler. Ah, beautiful. Good for you. You're a spirited lady. Question number two, what is one of your special talents? Ooh, special talents. Special talents. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Um, you know, interestingly enough, it really has to do with my business, which is I have a way to get under people's messages, to hear what's beyond what they're saying and to find the right message that really works. And I'm, uh, I, I think that's really a gift of mine or so I've been told by many people. Okay, that is a rare gift. Good for you. Yeah. And the final question is, what is your favorite delicious pleasure? What is your favorite delicious pleasure? Okay, I'm definitely into Chinese food, seriously. And, um, and also popcorn. Popcorn is my latest, my latest excitement. Oops, we can't hear you. Oh, you're still on mute. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. Popcorn is popcorn is popcorn, surely. <laughs> no, you can have flavors of popcorn. Oh, well, what I do is I put things like smoked paprika and, um, you know, fancy salt, a uh, little bit of olive oil. That's probably my favorite popcorn recipe. But I think the, the biggest thing is, is definitely flavor it and do it from scratch. I don't like the high microwave, you know, mm -hmm. uh, other stuff. I get it and then actually pop it. That's just so much better. You've just taught me more than I ever knew about popcorn, Jill. Thank you. Participants. <laughs> If you have questions, please type them into the chat. Jill will not be answering them until the end of her presentation. Uh, she just wants to make sure she covers the content. But mm -hmm. at the end, she'll be answering all your questions. So rest assured, uh, any curiosities you have will be satisfied over the course of Jill's workshop. Now I'll be recording Jill's workshop and you'll be sent a link to the recording in a few hours. Uh, but I encourage you anyway to take notes because the simple act of taking notes is going to increase what you absorb uh, by as much as 30%. Jill, are you ready, us, ready to wow us? Absolutely, although you may hear a hungry cat every once in a while, but yes, absolutely. Right. And would you like your slides brought up now? Yes, go for right. it. Mary Beth, please do your thing. Wonderful. And I, first of all, I just want to say thank you to Roger. Uh, always appreciate you. I think you need a shake, rattle, and roll, right? <laughs> because that's what you help entrepreneurs do is shake, rattle, and roll. So we appreciate you. I speak on behalf of all of us. And thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, it's, it's publicity is such a wonderful word. And uh, it's such an important part of what you do in your business. And frankly, my friend P.T. Barnum, you know, Mr. Circus, said it best, and that is a terrible thing happens without publicity, nothing. Now, P.T. Barnum was really good at this 
next piece. And I want to teach you tonight how to blow your own horn, even if you feel like it's a kazoo, because sometimes it is. But here's the thing. When you know what publicity does for you, what you're going to do is fall in love with it because, you know, mostly it's really an attraction factor. And I want to show you what does it attract? Well, first of all, high return on investment, right? It gives you increased prospects and more sales and increased trust. It gives you more credibility and more visibility. It gives you more clients and makes you more money. And it well, it saves you money because you're not having to spend a lot on advertising or direct mail or other things, all of which, by the way, I think are good. I'm not opposed to any of it, but I do think and have seen the power of publicity to move quickly you from prospects to clients, definitely exposure in the marketplace. And I only mean the good kind and the right kind. So that's some of what publicity does. Also, just a reminder, happy to answer some questions. Would love to actually interact with you at the end. So just know if you don't write things in the chat, you can always raise your hand and all that fun stuff. So we'll definitely get to all of you and your specific questions. But as we're uh, delivering the content to you, you know, take some notes and PS, definitely take some notes. You're gonna want to do that because the power of what I'm going to give you is a lot of very practical. I'm a practical, tactical kind of person. And so I want to make sure that you have great ways to get your publicity done by attending tonight. Here's what the power of publicity does. It gives you influence and impact. Now, raise your hand in the chat. Go ahead. I want to see who wants more influence and impact. Raise your hands in the chat or raise your hand in the Hollywood Squares box. Whatever works for you, thank you, good. I'm glad to see that because that, my friends, is what's gonna drive people to you, influence and impact. And you know, I assume that all of you are here tonight because you invest in yourself. You invest your time, your energy, your focus, your money to learn, to grow. And I really, really am so happy to share that time with you. But I know who you are already because you've already besides raising your hand and saying you wanted it, you've shown up tonight, which already says something to, about you. And those of you listening later, same thing. You're taking the time to listen, to watch, and to learn and to grow. And just really, you know, kudos, kudos to all of you. I think that's such a key in life. So the power of that impact, here's the thing. You want to be planting your publicity garden. You want to do it now for what is now, right? We have lots of stories now. I'm going to give you some great hints and tips about what stories you can use right now to grow your publicity garden. And then I want you to plant your seeds for three, six, and nine months ahead because media plans ahead. Even, you know, well, besides a breaking story, we'll call it, the truth is they are planning ahead. So you want to be planting your seeds to be featured later. And that includes all forms of media, podcasts and blogs, TV, radio, uh, magazines, all kinds of uh, print. Absolutely. All of them are planning ahead. And the exception in that is the breaking stories, the moment by moment stories. All right, let me show you the important piece about your formula for getting your word out there. Go ahead, the next slide, Mary Beth, because what we're looking at is it's all about your message, right? And so with your message, what you want to do is create a powerful connection. Now, do me a favor, look at the first two letters in the chat and tell me what are they? What does it spell? Put it in the chat, please. Um, what are the first two letters of the word message? Go ahead, put it in the chat. Yes, thank you. Wonderful, Chris. Gavin, thank you. Glad, uh, yes, thank you. You're, you're all getting it. Thank you so much. It is me. Yes, in the word message is me. Gold stars 
for all of you. Now, what are the last four letters in the word message, please? Last four letters, put it in the chat. Last four letters. Yes, thank you, Chris. In the word message, thank you, Jason, Serena, perfect. Luis, yes, Stefan. In the word message, Carol Ann, is sage. So in the word message, check this out, is me sage? Isn't that interesting? Thank you, Bev. Now, interestingly enough, in the word message is also mess. But we are not gonna talk about that tonight because I wanna give you only the good news and how to get your media happening. And one way to do that is to create this wonderful formula, which is, I call it the problem solution formula. Do me a favor, take yourselves off mute just for a moment. And I want you to say, I am an expert. Point to yourself. On the count of three, you'll take yourself off mute and you will say with me, I am an expert by pointing to yourself. Are you ready? One, two, three. I, I am, am an, expert. an expert. expert. Yes, thank you. You are an expert and experts solve problems. So the easy formula is to create this. The problem today is, and then you fill in the blank. Now remember that your media audience wants to know that you're an expert. We've already declared this tonight. You are all experts. I absolutely know that. And the question is in what? Now you gotta be flexible to be willing to change your expertise occasionally, right? Like one of my clients in Vancouver, um, she runs a women's professional speaking network. And she's learned this from me about just say yes to the media. And one thing she noticed in one of the resources I gave her that I'll give you in just a bit, uh, they were asking for messy desks. Does anyone have a messy desk? Now you don't have to admit it here, although I will, especially in COVID, you know, things aren't quite as organized as they used to be. But interestingly enough, she got a query looking for, hey, what do you do for your messy desk? Now, even though she does something else entirely professionally, she made a comment about that. She learned from me to comment, to make comments, to draw attention, to just say yes. And that article got her nine new memberships, full paid, got her a 38% increase in her web visits and ranking. I mean, that alone, my friends, you know, for you would elevate your status. And that's why I love PR. It elevates your status. It draws people's eyes to you, gets them connected to you. And what else could be better, right? Well, what's better is them becoming real clients. And, and if it's that old thing, if nobody knows about you, how can they play with you? So that's really important. So let me give you, I'll, I'll demonstrate to you a problem solution. This is mine. I can do this in probably 15 seconds. In my virtual publicity course, you'll have usually a minute. <laughs> and I will tell you on media, you will have, no kidding, about four minutes. When Profit of Kindness came out, I was actually on seven Fox News interviews in the first eight days. And I averaged, I timed this out, four minutes and 20 seconds was an average Fox Network segment. I mean, that's fast, right? So you want to get it out there, you want to deliver your content, and then, as I like to say, then we have time to chat, okay? So here's mine. The problem today is four out of five businesses will go out of business because you have no clue how to create publicity without spending a fortune. I want to give you three guerrilla publicity tips today for how to get your message in the media. The first way to get noticed is to create your ooh, ah, factor. The second way is to create the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. And the third way is focus on networking magic and show up in your communities at least twice a month for name and face recognition. That's my message, my friends. Very simple. I want you to notice a couple things. I kept it in five-year-old language. Yes, really simple. I made it so that hopefully it was engaging with sound bites and fun things to remember. And um, 
you notice I used you language. I want you to use you language because it's not about I or you. It's you talking to your prospects and clients via media. And when you use the word you, people feel closer to you. Now, let's talk about that one of those called the ooh, ah factor. And well, just because it's fun, I'm going to have you take yourself off mute again. And at the count of three, I'm going to have you say your ooh, ah factor, just like that, just because it's fun. Are you ready? One, two, three. Your ooh, ooh ah, ah factor. <laughs> Woohoo! Excellent. Hey, that's better than happy birthday on Zoom. <laughs> I just celebrated a big birthday. So got a virtual birthday party coming up. And I always dread that moment where everybody sings happy birthday on Zoom. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, the ooh, ah factor is all about creating that visibility based on using everything you've got, everything you've got. So I'm talking about women using International Women's Month and men might use Father's Day and um, a man who's Pakistani recently in my virtual publicity course, I look across and I see this headbang in his Zoom box and I said, what's up? He said, well, I just realized that I never use the fact that I'm Pakistani to get publicity. And while we were talking in his area he found out that there were five Pakistani newsletters. He got in three of them using everything he's got and increased his mailing list by 20,000 people. Who'd like that? Give me a double thumbs up if you'd like to do that. Increase your email list and tribe, yes, by at least 20,000 people. It's everything you've got, my friends. And so take a look right now. What have you maybe not been talking about? Um, I had a financial planner whose wife had breast cancer. And we, what we did was we created him as the spokesperson for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which drove his web stats up by 42%. He got seven clients that he counted from that campaign. And then of course, his prospects and pipeline was full. And that's a beautiful thing. So that doesn't even count all the rest from there, you know, so exciting. So I want to show you about uh, one of my clients. She's a psychologist and we were doing a great story about how to deal with stressful times. And, you know, then the quarantine hit who, who knew how stressful that would be, of course. And we made her, I said, hold everything. And we made her into the quarantine Cupid. And that, my friends, is what got her on a major radio show, WGN in Chicago, Illinois, talking about how to deal with relationships in quarantine. That was a wonderful piece for her. That's just one example. There was a tremendous amount of media, but I just wanted to exemplify it from one clear example of how you can shift your message. Like my interior design client, we were going after how to be able to sell a home. And then of course COVID hit and I said, you know what? Now we got homes, homeschooling. How are we gonna deal with that? We've got multiple people who need offices, home workstations, et cetera. How do you deal with that? How do you set up your home to be COVID friendly, work friendly, child friendly, learning friendly? You know the drill, right? We've all lived through this. And so with that, uh, that was what got her into multiple real estate real estate editors across North America and creating stories around how do you set up for success. That was a story that got this interior designer far more business on Zoom. She was doing Zoom consults for how to set up your home to be COVID friendly. She never even thought about that before working with me, before of course the opportunities that we all have with increasing your business on Zoom. So very exciting on that. Now let's show you some great topics that I've discovered for right now. Um, for instance, health. If you, so if you're in any of these areas, I want you to be knowing that right now could be the perfect time for you to be planting your publicity seeds. If you're in the area of health in any area, 
mindsets, transformation, weight loss, reaching goals, any kind of activism like my client recently uh, through my virtual course and she is Filipino. Uh, she's like 25 years old and she owns a video production company. Well, I have her going out. She's got a huge amount of publicity talking about stop Asian hate. And that's been powerful. If you're in the area of alternative healing or any area of, like I said, health earlier, real estate, real estate's been popping, popping, popping. We want to definitely be talking to people about that. If you're a consultant, there's a lot of people who are quitting their jobs, right? Roger, you're going to be getting even more in the Entrepreneurs International Network because this is a big time when people are, you know, deciding, well, now, now more than ever, it's time to go after your dream. And of course, anything about money, saving it, making it, um, how do we get through this, this period into a new period, first quarter ideas for 2021. Um, of course, at the end of the year, how to save for success, how to take yourself into next year, all of these, all of these, and that's a lot of them are really good topics for, for some of you to be creating as your next step. And again, I hope that today is expanding your mind with the power of what your message could be. Now, I'd love to give you some visibility building activities, like VBAs, I call them. And first one is doing exactly what you're doing right now, which is to network in your community. And I th I'm so excited by Zoom. It has enabled our networking opportunities more than ever, very powerfully, and congratulations. So that's tick one off the list. Make sure to do it consistently and persistently because to be successful in media, you wanna be consistent and persistent. Write those two words down. Now, I also recommend that you follow reporters on social media, particularly, obviously, in your genre, in whatever you're talking about doing out there, whether it's brick and mortar, whether it's all on Zoom. Find some key words that sum you up and start following reporters who are writing about that. I also want you to sign up for Google Alerts. This is completely free, and I want you to put your name in there so that when people do write an article or feature you in media, you're gonna know right away. And then at least one of your topics. So when the Prophet of Kindness came out, we put in the word kindness into Google Alerts. That's how we found out that, well, November 13th is World Kindness Day. That started a major summit where I had over 120 people show up with, by the way, not much planning, right? It just was the important piece of the day. And the other way you can find out about holidays is nationaldaycalendar.com. That's a great place also to find out what's being celebrated for your kind of holiday or what you could make up as a holiday to be celebrated, right? Like uh, Mary Beth posted in the chat, today is National Tell a Story Day. Well, I could even talk about that considering I'm teaching people how to tell their story. Um, so these are great resources, all completely free. You can go to iTunes and again, type in one word, see what podcasts are showing up and where can you be a, a guest in a podcast. Blog Talk Radio is great for that too. And then make sure to subscribe to helpareporter.com. Remember I told you about my client in Vancouver who um, got into that clutter story in a major magazine, major women's magazine, which then drove a lot of nice prospects to her membership and actually had people sign up at full fee membership. So Help a Reporter is one of those fabulous resources, again, completely free that will drive people to your actual site and drive them to your name recognition and create my favorite kind of syndrome, which is the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. Okay. Now with the profit of kindness, as much as I'd love to tell you that I got on major media, which I did um, because I have a book out, right? Inc. Magazine, I've been in twice just for this book, some of my other books too. Forbes Magazine, uh, Forbes Small Business, same thing twice. Like I said, seven Fox News interviews in the first eight days and lots of podcasts and blogs, right? And 
you know, the thing is, and down at the bottom of the screen, that's a third of some of the media I was in because we just couldn't fit it all on the screen. And so part of what I want to show you is it wasn't because I had a new book out. It was because I pushed the right button. Go ahead, point your computer, uh, computer screen right now, right in the camera and push the right button, please. Go ahead, push the right button. Thank you. You're gonna push the right button for your own story. And sometimes it's not at all what you think. In fact, that right button for that story was the divided states of America. I'm sure we could all agree. I know you've been looking uh, from outside, so to speak, of the United States, most of you. Uh, and you could probably tell that we were the divided states of America. And that, my friends, is actually what's gotten a tremendous amount of press. Now, something happened uh, during that time of putting out the Prophet of Kindness where God planted a seed in my heart, which was to do kindness circles. Um, from that now, I have a year of kindness community and we are, have a World um, Kindness Summit and it's, everything's virtual. And I actually wanna invite you, please, come on and play in our kindness circles. Come share and receive and give kindness to each other and how you register is you go to jilllublin.com slash kindness circles, completely free. And then yes, I'll let you know about my year of kindness, but certainly it's been making a huge difference for everyone in it. Lots of leads and referrals being passed. And that is one of my agendas for everybody in the year of kindness community. So it's been very exciting. Now I wanna show you what um, Entrepreneur Magazine said about what to do. Now, this is my third edition actually of Guerrilla Publicity. And I interviewed the editor of Entrepreneur Magazine. By the way, who'd like to be an Entrepreneur Magazine? Do you think that would be good for your business? Yes, hands up. Yes, thank you. Because, um, you know, you should be an Entrepreneur Magazine. It's perfect for most of you here. And just so you know, remember I told you at the beginning, plant your seeds ahead because for instance, the June issue of Entrepreneur Magazine, the production deadline is March. The June issue, the writer's deadline is January 15th. Straight from the horse's mouth, this is the editor who told me this to share with you. Now, isn't that interesting, my friends? So what you need to know, what's important about this is that of course, you're planting seeds ahead and Entrepreneur Magazine wants you. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to have a great story that's helpful for entrepreneurs. And you know, again, I wanna remind you, great thing to do is go on Google and type in entrepreneur columnists, entrepreneur uh, reporters, and see who shows up. You know, there's a lot of independent people who write columns for Entrepreneur Magazine, Forbes Magazine, Inc. Magazine, those are the top three. And they are always looking for people just like you to interview. And that's a fun thing. That's how I actually got into Entrepreneur Magazine twice because one of them was a columnist that I happened to find. Now, here's the thing. I want you, no matter what the media asks you, I want you to just say yes. Just say yes. You know, it's interesting um, when Guerrilla Publicity came out, second edition, the largest Catholic radio station connected to me and they said, Jill, can you talk about Super Bowl advertising? Now, I got three problems with this. <laughs> Number one, I'm not Catholic. Number two, I didn't even know who was playing in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Google is a beautiful thing, right? And number three, I'm not an expert in advertising. I'm an expert in publicity. But when the largest Catholic radio station say, said, Jill, can you talk about Super Bowl advertising? What's my answer? Go like this. Yes, 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 absolutely I can. And you know, that was 40,000 people that I reached in one fell swoop. And that's what I love about the power of media is the opportunity to reach people quickly, simply, effectively, efficiently, without a lot of costs. Because that's what I'm gonna teach you is, and have been all the way through is high impact, low cost, 
fabulous ways to get your word out there without spending a fortune. And so a lot of people have said to me, but Jill, do you have a blueprint? And Roger told me to let you know how you can continue to work with me. So I'd love to share that. And then I'm gonna come back and I wanna take some questions from all of you. Number one, uh, and most important thing is that I created a blueprint, which is literally a publicity course. This is one day and it's virtual, my friends. You don't have to go anywhere. And here's the super great thing. It's live and interactive with me in a small group. So they sell out. So make sure you register for the date you want because they do sell out. And in this course, we're gonna actually do three documents. We don't just talk about it, we actually do it. And then I'm gonna, so, so on top of that, we're gonna do breakout sessions. We're gonna have networking. And I'm gonna give you the 30, 60 and 90 day system, which we are actually going to do in the course to create success for you. Um, and right in the get-go, that part about your message, that's what we start with, because that's really a key, all right? So I'm spilling all the secrets that most people will never tell you. And we're gonna do it in one day. It's live, it's interactive with me. And I promise you, people are loving it, getting a lot of results, and most importantly, getting your publicity done so that you know the right way to talk to media without spending a fortune. And so here's the super good news for you. Listen, pre-pandemic, I'm not kidding, this course was $1,297. And frankly, people paid it and they said they were happy. When the pandemic hit, what I wanted to do was offer it at a highly affordable price. I mean, all my costs went down, it's virtual. And so here's good news, it's only 197 now. So what you do, how to register is you go to publicity, crashcourse.com and you type in the code stay visible it's all lowercase and all one word we posted it in the chat and then just to choose a date we have june ones coming up whatever works best for you may and june and uh, looking forward to so helping you to get your name out there and create that visibility and publicity that you deserve it's time for you my friends to be in the news let's get it done the right way all right, I'd love to come back and take some questions from you. Let's see who's got questions and hopefully I have answers. Do me a favor, you can raise your hand in the, in the Hollywood Squares box. You can post uh, your, your questions. I see that Gavin has one. Who else might have a question? You can raise your hand in the raise hand chat. And I see, um, and I don't know how to pronounce your name. So you're gonna have to help me. And uh, I, see, I see two questions coming in, Serena. And Gavin, let me um, answer your question. Blog Talk Radio is an actual radio distribution service. Um, it's called Blog Talk Radio, Google it. Should come right up. And then from there, go on in. There are lots of radio hosts and they are looking for guests just like you, okay? So it's a great resource that a, a lot of people aren't using, completely free and a great way to do that. All right. Okay, so um, could you please pronounce your name? T-S-U-I-W. Uh, William. Oh, that's William. Okay, great. Hey, hey. How are you guys? Great, thank you. How are you? Uh, doing good, doing good. And tell me what your question is. Well, I uh, was already in the news in uh, the local media here in uh, Kamloops area, like it's close to Vancouver, right? And um, I'm actually doing like a food delivery business. And one of the local restaurants attacked me and got on the news. Um, do you have any tips or any ways to navigate that? Like it's been a few months, so I've since recovered, but I want to know like if there's any things I want to pay attention to. Okay, so tell me again, did they give the negative review? Say that piece one more time. Um, so my business is a lot like uh, DoorDash, right? But it's okay. just a very local one. It's just to just one town. And uh, basically, same with DoorDash, we don't ask for permissions to bring up menus. So we just put on their pricing and put on our markup to survive. Uh -huh. There's this one restaurant that didn't like it. Okay. So they so, just started like a Facebook attack on us. Oh no, okay, got yeah. it. So the first thing I would do is actually answer them. 
specifically and try and take them offline, like get a meeting with the manager at that restaurant and frankly, do everything you can to make that nice. Um, the other thing is they can remove their posts. I, you know, once you actually address them and I wouldn't let it go much longer if much as possible, because of course, you know, when people type in your name, they will find that, but you can, you can actually overcome negative PR. And one way to do that is actually ask them to remove their posts, but you can also send in something to the, to them, to Facebook saying, listen, here's what's true. Please remove the post. Okay. So I think, I think that would be good. And then I do some extra special things for that restaurant. I mean, it certainly sounds like you have a great service. Um, so I don't know why they're upset, but uh, you know, everyone's a little weird sometimes and you just got to deal with it. But I, I meet it head on, do not avoid this. And that is the thing about, you know, listen, honestly, I'm never mostly concerned about negative PR for most of you. But William, since you've had this particular thing, just deal with it. And then ask your customers who are happy with you to start posting a lot of reviews too. Like I have something from So Tell Us, it's called So Tell Us. And everybody who takes my virtual publicity course at the end, we ask them, would you be so kind to click this link? And then immediately it posts on Facebook. We don't even have to do anything. So you want a few and as many as you can positive reviews. And so ask um, your people who are your fans to start posting on Facebook too, to start burying that, so to speak. But I definitely work head on with the, with the restaurant and, and try to get that settled human to human. Awesome, thank you so much. You're welcome, my pleasure. And Cheryl, I see you have your hand up. And go ahead and raise your hand if you have a question or any way I can help you. I just want to um, know if you can give us some examples of the ooh, ah factor. Absolutely. So one of my clients, uh, his name is Ryan, and he had come to me because, well, he understood how powerful PR was. And the truth is he had just gotten downsized from his corporate job. He had a pregnant wife with their third kid on the way. He had a big mortgage because he had just bought a house. Can you imagine the bad timing of just buying a house? Your wife is pregnant. And then on top of that, you already got two kids and no job. I'm like, Ryan, what'd you do? He said, well, I started my own company and online he had seven employees literally doing instructional design virtually. Now I got to tell you something. I didn't know what instructional design was. I mean, I'm a really good translator of messages. That's one of my, I told you right in the beginning, my special skills. And I said to Ryan, I said, you know, Ryan, you are a virtual office warrior. And with that, with that, what's amazing is he got in the, in the um, business journal of the local paper, he got an entrepreneur magazine he got a 45% um, increase in his web stats because I, I like to measure ROI. I think that's a good thing, right? He got, um, let's see, there was others, home office computing, Mac home journal. I mean, it just went on and on. In fact, it went on and on for nine months. And, and you know, the use everything you've got part. So ooh, ah factor for him was that he is Chinese. He doesn't speak a word of Chinese, but what we did was translated his article and then put it into the Chinese times, all right? And so with that, with that, what's super amazing is that one article, just as an example, led to $7,000 worth of business. That for him, not only is a new off factor, it created wonderful money in his pocket. So I'd like you to look at your personal story, your business story. Um, I'd like you to use every part of who you are, like my Filipino client who's now talking about stop Asian hate, right? Take a look at where you could be more proactive in using everything you've got. Use everything you've got. That's, start, that's how to start with your ooh, ah factor. Does that help, Cheryl? Yep, that's good. And I have a lot, a lot of stories. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I'll, Thank I'll, you. Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome. And Serena, go for it. 
Uh, thanks. Um, so my question is like, uh, cause my business is still just at the like developing stage. It's just like very, very like a beginning stage. I am wondering like for the stage that I am at, what would the planting for the sea of publicity like for me, like uh, relating to your three months, six months and nine months timeline? Yeah, so here's the thing. Here's what I know about working with all kinds of businesses in multiple phases of development, including some business that are transitioning or starting, right? So the good news about starting is you haven't made too many mistakes yet. <laughs> I like that from a publicity perspective, right? So finding the right message will be key. And I, it always, this is for everybody. I don't care what phase of business you're in. It does start with your message. And that includes even if you've been buzzing along on a great little, you know, raft floating, you always want to be relooking at your message. You always want to be looking at how could I take what I'm doing and, and shape it for what's happening in media right now. Listen, I had a dating expert uh, talking during the elections about could a Democrat in, in the U.S., could a Democrat date a Republican and could a Republican date a Democrat? She was so busy on Zoom one day, she didn't have a moment to breathe hardly, she told me. She got a cup of tea and that was it. Other than that, it was interview after interview after interview after interview, all on Zoom, all on major networks, including, by the way, CBC. Um, so, you know, this is a beautiful thing. Um, so I think particularly it's going to start with the message and then moving into um, I, I like multiple ways of reaching media. You know, I'm into what I call the octopus theory of marketing. You reach your tentacles into multiple places because different things work at different times. And then watch for stories, Serena, that relate to what you do. And you might be surprised. There are probably more there than you think. <laughs> and this is for everybody, right? Uh, hmm. Put your PR antennas up and let's see what stories are happening right now that could be relevant for what you do. Yeah, yeah. When we are talking about relevancy, actually, uh, what I have to put out to the marketplace is more than relevant. So when I created my book, like this is just one of my books, it's the whole series of books. I wrote it back in 2018. So I got the name. I, I, I have been feeling apprehensive about this name for the longest time because this book is called The Daily Wisdom of a Chinese Woman. And then at the time I thought, oh, I'm not sure about this name. But right now after, you know, like the whole world has been through the pandemic after all the Asian hay. And then I say, huh, like, you know, like, I don't know whether I am catching on this timing right now. Like, at the meanwhile, I am, I guess I, I would like to also hear from your expertise is that like, with this relevancy of the time and would there be any chance for me to be able to jump the queue a little bit and take advantage of this timing for publicity? What would you have to say? Well, you absolutely should be jumping the queue, particularly on Stop Asian Hate, particularly that one. And, you know, see what will happen is then it will drive people to read your book or, you know, in some cases for some of you jumping on something else will drive people to your website. It doesn't matter that your, you know, book is not is about that or not about that you're qualified because you're Asian and even more so because you wrote a book on Chinese wisdom. I mean, uh, you know, from a Chinese uh, wisdom from you kind of thing. And how perfect is that? So my answer is yes, yes, and yes. Uh, jump the queue, use this for right now. And then we can look deeper at what your message is for moving next. All right. Okay, yeah, so, yeah that answers my question. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank you. All right. So let's take Crystal next. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Thank you. Thank you, Jill, for giving me a chance to ask you a question. So um, on my daily basis, I'm a financial consultant and I teach, I educate my group for them to become well aware of about their financial planning and especially estate planning. And I think it's so important for our new generation to be aware of how to write a will and how to protect their future. And I know I'm pretty young. People say like, 
it's only for people who are married and have children, but I don't believe that. I believe all about preparation and being ready. And as you know, for the past 12 months, we, we know exactly what it means to be ready for the future. Um, one of the things that I struggle with is that I'm an introvert. I keep all my stories to myself unless someone is very special to me, then I start sharing my story. So when someone goes on my Instagram, they see a lot of motivation, education, but they don't know me. And I have a hard time telling my story to people because I don't know if I want them to know me, to be honest. Like I'm just having a difficult time expressing myself and I don't know where to go off. What if I cry? <laughs> like, so yeah, I'm kind of struggling with that issue. So here's what I want to say. If you cry, good. It's okay, right? Um, I think that uh, sharing your story is probably important because of the line of business you're in. If it relates, if it totally doesn't relate, we'll have to figure out a way to relate it, okay? Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. By the way, Mary Beth, put on, uh, if anybody wants to talk to me privately, put on a way to schedule a call with me. Happy to help also privately. Thank you so um, much. Oh yeah, you bet. But you know, here's what I know about introverts and I've worked with many. When you have confidence, right? Because your um, message is good, what happens is your confidence goes way up and you will find the words come out much easier, much simpler. You, it'll, I, I always want messages to resonate with who you are at your soul level, at your heart level, right? I, I, that's so important. And, and all the people I work with, your messages are gonna be integral to who you are and what you wanna put out in the world. And you can work things in, in ways that are very graceful and elegant without hitting people over the head. But here's the truth, my friends, you always need to be promoting because the truth is if nobody knows about you, how can they do business with you? And to me, I consider that your, your talents, a gift. You're a gift. And by, well, shall I say withholding your gifts, whether it's a story that might help somebody, like I have a lot of mental illness in my family and I started talking about that much more. Um, it was something I didn't talk about for many years. And you know, it's interesting. People come up to me and they're going, oh gosh, me too, right? Because yeah. they can relate to it. And all of a sudden this thing that I was a little hiding because it was embarrassing and not my best story now actually is part of my story, not in all cases, but many times, you know? Uh, so I, th I think sharing really who you are the times are now people want that they want to be connected to you they want your heart they want to feel you they want your vulnerability it's just crystal learning how to tell it how to tell it and there's ways that make it so easy and simple that get it integrated quickly and it makes a big difference in how people perceive you Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I see two more questions. I think we have time to get to both of them. Viraj, did I say your name right? Yes, exactly. Hey, Jill, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to ask you a question. So actually, I am a founder of Education Technology Startup, and it's like very social impact startup. And we actually got nominated in uh, one of the media called Startup Field to watch out for uh, say, uh, best sensor startup in 2021. And want you uh, go into INC or entrepreneur or for Forbes news, how to approach these guys? What should be my strategy and how to approach and what should be the process for that? Well, first of all, congratulations, Yahoo, right? We love, love that. And um, there's a couple things. One I actually do in the course is we write an announcement, not necessarily a big press release, but it's an announcement that can go into all of your local media and start putting your name out there. I call that the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome, right? So you always wanna make announcements when great things happen or when you're nominated for something or when you've got a launch of a new program, uh, you know, and frankly, any excuse you can and every 60 days. So six times a year, I want all of you locally out 
And it's a great strategy, completely no cost for getting your name out there consistently. But I have a feeling also in addition to that Braj, that another great uh, thing for you to do would be to write some articles and get articles. This is for all of you. you every one of you needs to have at least one good article. 500 words is excellent. And that is something you want consistently out in the marketplace. That'll make a big difference and will also help you. So I do those two strategies first, and then you know we can go deeper. But I, I think that'd be a really good start for you. Yeah, thank you so much, Jill. And yeah. what should be the medium for that? Like it's a medium uh, is good. Like media, you might be know about the medium article writing. Yes, uh, it's called medi medium.com. Yes. Yeah, medium.com. Yes, so medium.com is a great place to get your articles published. Absolutely. And, and do you have any other suggestions for that? Um, basically, post it. I mean, honestly, it's as simple as that. So it's get the article written and then post it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for answering my question. You're welcome, my pleasure. And Megan, not last but not least, tell me your question. Thank you. Thanks so much. I have a business where I've started teaching a course to inspire women in their 40s and 50s to add more fun and adventure. So while I'm listening to you, I'm writing down so the places to look where I would want to put an article or would be like adventure kind of um, places or podcasts or like probably, things around. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. I'd probably go for women's podcasts, women's media, because it's going to be easy to find quickly. Yeah. Then I'd secondarily go into uh, adventure. You know, okay. just I don't yeah. think there's going to be quite as many. I think if you hit the women's market strong, and there's lots of podcasts, lots of particularly oriented women media, that would yeah. be ideal for you. And then, you know, again, give women three great things they can do to have more fun right now. And then I'd, I'd yeah. also do a oriented, well, now we're coming right up on it. I was going to tell you, I do a big focus story for Mother's Day, but it's honestly, we're right on top of it. But, yeah. you know, locally, you could do that locally. And here's okay. the good news about local for all of you. They want you. They, the media, wants you. They want your stories, right? And I think that that's really important for all of you to know that. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank oh, you're you. so. Oh, you're so welcome. My pleasure. Good. Well, this has just been a joy uh, to be with all of you, and so excited to hear your questions, your stories, um, the powerful, the powerful pieces. I hope that I've been able to impart to all of you because you know here's the deal i know that all of you are a star the point is finding the point of the star that will get you to the message of the media so that your message can now multiply that your message can be part of other people's story and frankly that you can get more clients and prospects and reach more people and give your gift give your gift to others that's what I really want for all of you. So take a look at the virtual publicity course, schedule a call with me if there's anything more I can help you with. And I really am so delighted and excited to help you because here's the bottom line. Your message matters. Your message matters. And I want to see you in the news. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>